is Star Giant. Welcome back to my channel. Today I will, I will be talking on this video. I'll be talking about the ability for um, the two um, the two beginning class when you start every game. So first off, it's gonna be a, a sword. One, so you're gonna get there like um four. There's gonna be three abilities and out and one ultimate. So basically, only one ultimate for each class. So. Let's get started. So basically, the first is called a um, storm slash, and uh, mostly I saw a lot of people use this. It's very really effective though, because like like your your skills and some of the basic attack won't be able to like um like it's like kind of like your out kind of like um wait, how do I explain it? Okay, it, it, like you're like um, you still take damage, but you won't get like, stunned or anything unless it uh, unless it's like, it's like uh, some armor break type move. And the next, start out with skill right here. The three, the three skills that start out. Actually, you start out with two, not until you upgrade your equipment, then you can use three. So that's why it is. I think most people. I can use a sword slash and um, and leap. So basically, those are two um, skills. And then after that, and when they got the third boss, like a third uh, skill open, a new fragment strike at the beginning. So, uh, so that's one. And a lot of people use leap because it's actually pretty useful. In PvP, it's pretty more and more useful than than they're doing the PvE. Because in leap, it's like when you're when you're like your teammate is like all the way in the in, in on like other side of the field you can just jump over but you can't even, you can't get to like jump that you can't jump that far but this I still but say it's still it's still it's still worth it though it's make it how far depend how far you can go to so. First is like, first is like when you use a leap and like jump in the air, then you get use a um, storm slash. And now uh, in the fragment strike, it just like your storm skills. Uh, I messed up that one. So yeah, so basically, um, most most use this leap and uh and uh. Or in, in a storm slash. That's a that's a two common leap for one. And um, and the uh, fragment strike is useful too. You gotta knock your enemy back and just disrupt. It just disrupt their um skills, but it won't disrupt one of the like a skills. Something called um storm storm slash because it actually uh, helps them like. Like it won't it won't disrupt them when in the news unless you have an other skill like some sort of high armor break skills. Not like not leap though. Yeah. It's gonna take a some work there on that part. So. In some part of the other case, then well, there's a, there's some more skills coming up for this one like a stun hit. For it, but that will be in uh, but that will be in the later in the game though because like you need to you need to keep fighting PVE and sometimes do PV PVP will help you get to that skill but mostly I'll, I'll do PVE for that. Next one it's gonna be um the, the the archer. So basically the archer have also have a three skill and a two skills. You start off with two skills and then you open, then you had to upgrade in order to get the third ones, and you still have ultimate. So um, first skill though, I call it a um, storm arrow. So a storm arrow. So basically, it's going to hit a straight. It's going to like cause uh, like few, like some some damage and and uh, help you move back a bit. I don't. I see that news. I, I do see sometimes news in PvP, but most of them when um, when people use uh, the archer, they mostly use a stage mode though. Stage mode is like when you stand, you like you stand still and you shoot enemy from long range, and then 
they shoot long and straight. I think most people use that, but you, you can't get it not until later, later in the game too. Most people use um, I see I see sometimes they use they use a storm arrow sometimes. Mostly they use they use a sage mode and um, raining arrow. Yep, so most mostly it's raining arrows and uh, and the sage mode. But when in but in the beginning of the game you will use um to you start out with storm arrow and. Uh, Raining arrow. When you got the third skill, you get something called Sabo arrow. I think it's called. Only way you can, only way that skill, only way that ability will work, you it, you have to be in the aim mode in order to use that. Then press R and you shoot like three times. Or the R is up for it. Come on, more damage. And also uh, does more. Um, also cost more. Um, uh, addition of hit. So. Depending on how, uh, yeah. how long been charged. Yeah. And you see it. Yeah. Uh, shit, shit costs a lot more, but I don't know why not this one. Yeah. 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 Maybe I have. Oh, I haven't tried R yet. Hang on. Yeah, when a lot of did it, more addition damage you, you get. Mostly it's going to be, it's, it's, it should, in maximum it's going to shoot out several arrows, so yeah. But the storm arrow is um, the one I like, but it's, it's shot multiple times. I see that when they use it in a very long range. Uh, I've seen most people use a, um, a arrow in PvP, it's like, almost like, like almost everyone in PvP use arrows. Still, some of them use some of them also use um the staff too, the mage staff one. Uh, but uh, but most of them use but uh, the majority of people use is gonna be a sword and an archer though. And, and when it comes to PvP, for me, um, I don't use archer in PvP. I do when I want to try it out, but. I'm more of a close range combat type, so I do use mage, but I only use mage when uh, when I'm doing um, PVE. Mage costs a lot of damage too, but but come to PVP, you can it probably be very useful too when you're trying to dodge the damage. But I prefer you uh, I prefer you the archer sometimes because archer can dodge damage too. Yep, so that's how it's so those are two starting skill class. And basically, um yeah, so I saw also some people use mage and archer because they like doing long range. Yeah! So I prefer using a sword a sword. For me I, I use sword and um and the blazing fist, but but uh, it, 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 it depends how you use it, but because like if you're very um like if you're very mechanical in the, in these in the playing this game, then you should be good. But it, but in PvP, you need to know how um, where you to position too. Because if you see some of my stream, I I did some PvP and, uh, and you see I mostly kind of got most most of I like I got killed the most because I was like mechanical and I was too aggressive in that and too reckless, so I I I, I die a lot because. I was, I, was, I was positioned. My teammate was on the other side, and I was like standing in, in, in like against. The, I was actually by myself against the two, two players, enemy two players. That's how I keep dying. Cause if I attack one of them, the other one is just going to cancel out my skill. Even I, even though I use a um, a sword flag, they, they one of them use a blade to just cancel out my storm slash. Like, as I was, like I said, is there some skill that can cancel you out even though you're even though you have a that weight immunity coming in, weight immunity active, so yeah. 
skill is actually pretty good too. You know, the ultimate skill. Uh, I see. I could use this skill if you can to help their abilities too. So that's one sword sword move, and then that you can cancel out their their um, one of their abilities. But that's the only skill I know of so far. For me though, um, when I layer into a game, I don't use a fragment. I don't use um fragment strike at all. I use uh, something called stun hit. Stun hit you get later in the game. It's uh, it's just like it hit the enemy then stun them. So that's why I would use. And for archer, um, instead of using a uh, four no Savo arrow, they use a uh, sage mode. So they take out that and use that. So hope so the, it gives you some example just for for the um beginning class. So these the two classes that are beginning is like a sword and the an archer. And some people just stick with it. For me I, I, I like to use a um the fist because it's more So um so that's basically all I can all I can say about it because this is like for like two class starting class. Um, that's all for now, and um, if this new, if this helps, if this gives some example though, if, it, if this video helpful, then leave a like on there. If it's not, then uh, comment me why. Um, if you're new to this, if you're new to my channel, please subscribe and hit the bell beside it, and uh, hit and to leave to uh, like notice to to give me a notice and the video I upload when it when we upload, and I'll see you guys next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.